Today I want to check in on Sword and Shield. We're talking booster boxes, chase card raw prices, and PSA 10 prices of those chase cards. So much attention is kind of on Scarlet and Violet with Twilight Masquerade, Greninja, Surging Sparks coming up. And um, we talked before about how the market is kind of cyclical as like, I use a carousel analogy. And sometimes when it's out of view and it's around the backside, you're not seeing it until it comes back around. And Sword and Shield might be coming around maybe. Let's take a look and we'll see. And we'll, we'll give an overview at the end. But starting with Evolving Skies, we're seeing some movement on the booster boxes here. Looks like uh, these have cracked 700 again. Uh, it shows 699 right here on TCG. Uh, so within the last month, we're seeing 2% growth and 3% on the last three months. We zoom out to the one year, uh, and you can see kind of what happened. It went from in the 400s up into like the 700s, and then it dipped back down, and now it's climbing back up again. There are some TCG players, sometimes weird, especially with Evolving Skies, but we've seen 704 sales, 705 705 down here a lot so uh, some of these other ones are throwing everything off but um, yeah so that's that's where Evolving Skies is at so like it's making a little bit of a comeback then we have the Umbreon check this out Umbreon's getting some movement up 15% in the past three months 15% on a card that expensive is a lot uh, dollar wise and 12 this is mostly coming in the last month so 12 and a half percent in the last month it went from 850 up to 978 so and then on the we'll pull out the one-year chart so you guys can kind of see so this is what's very interesting right uh, so this was the big alt art run-up right here in the middle um, you could have got this for as low as 491 last year uh, anyways it ran up to 900 and then dipped back all the way down to 140 and now it's at its one-year high 978 raw um, we'll take like these are some of the recent sales 999, 999, 988, nine, so 1,000. Let's call it 1,000. And uh, this one that had photos, 1,400. So Umbreon Raw is a $1,000 card, which is, yeah. I mean, this thing, this Umbreon is, if you guys aren't familiar, Umbreon is Umbreon. It's its own, it's its own unique beast. It's wild. The pop count is so high in PSA 10s, and we're going to look at PSA 10s now. So these are last solds for PSA 10. We got, just call this 1300, 1350. And then you had a pair right here. Those are crossed out. So it only adds 300 bucks uh, to the, if it's a thousand, it's only 1310. I kind of feel like if you're wanting to pick one up, especially if you have the money, if you're going to spend a thousand dollars on a card, you might as well just spend the extra 300 to get the 10 <laughs> at this point. So, uh, but there's a lot of PSA 10s out there. Next up, uh, this is my favorite set. I'm very honest about that. This is my favorite set um, from Lost Origin. Uh, I'm the most invested of all in Sword and Shield is actually for a uh, sealed product is in Lost Origin. And we're seeing this at 218 a box. Oh, um, also, I did want to I want to go back to Evolving Skies just for one second. Um, something that I tried to look at, which I think is interesting, is the listed median price. Sorry, $950. So uh, if these sales hold and there's not a bunch of new boxes listed, um, that's where this box is going to climb to, and that would not be surprising uh, to see. So, uh, 950 on that. Anyways, back to Lost Origin. Uh, this, you know, this box finally seen some growth again. It got hit hard for a little, well, not hard, but it got hit for a little while, and people were kind of forgetting about Sword and Shield era, and um, you know, it got a restock, uh, which wasn't too big, but it, tank it tanked the price. And anyways. Up 11% on the past three months. It was at 194 three months ago. And in the past month, even seeing a little bit more growth, 3.27%. Zoom out to the one year, and you can you guys can kind of see what happened here. It was 126 um, a year ago. It ran up to around 220, and it came back down into the 100s and back up, back down. Now it's back up again. So we'll see if this can crack the one year high and see if this can crack past 220. Most recent sale shows 225. So 225, 220, 215s, I see there's a 240 in here. Um, so it looks like this box is gonna crack through that uh, shortly. Listed median price is 282. So we'll see, we'll see where that takes it. But uh, Lost Origin, I think that it's gonna do really well long-term, obviously. Uh, it's Sword and Shield set I'm currently most invested in. And yeah, so I, 
when I tell you guys that, that's just me trying to say like, this is where I put most of my money. I feel like it has more growth potential. Um, obviously, Evolving Skies, come on, that's maybe the safest, but just the barrier to entry is so high. So yeah, um, Lost Origin. Then we have the Giratina, which this card's still tanking, still getting hit. 14% down in the past three months alone, and it's still on the fall a little. 2.5% uh, in the past month alone. Had the big run-up right here. It was going for almost 500 raw, and it's just slowly... I think it's going to... It's got to start to bottom out soon. I don't think it's going to go below 300. I don't really see that happening. Um, we have a 300, 300, 359. So the sales are kind of between 300 and 350 on 360 on recent sales. So... Um, yeah, that's what the Giratina has been doing. Um, let's check PSA 10, um, on eBay. 880 last sold. So that's, that's high. This is this morning. This is, uh, Thursday, uh, October in the morning when I'm recording this, like 8 something AM, uh, Pacific time. 880 most recent sale. So that's interesting because we have back here, we have 680, 700, 700, 700. So this is an outlier. So we could see the Giratina start to be coming up. Uh, I didn't see how many are available on eBay. That may be a factor. And then we have Fusion Strike. So Fusion Strike is the boxes are a little bit on the way down right now. Down 13%, down to 210. Um, let's see. And 1.7% in the past month. So Lost Origin's kind of bouncing and Fusion's kind of going down. Which is interesting because Fusion Strike has performed better overall you can see this was the run-up again it went to 244 and then it's slowly even coming down to 210 so we'll see what happens with this uh last sales were 208 210 201 i don't know what these these are stupid i hate this loose packs so that doesn't count 210 210 210 210 so that seems about right the listed medium price is 246 so we'll see if this bounces up um yeah fusion strikes a cool set the Gengar here is seeing some growth, a little, uh, raw, in near mint, 3.5% up in the past three months, and 3.64% in the past month alone, so seeing a little bit of a bounce currently, opposite of the Giratina, and on the one-year chart, you'll see the big alt art boom right here, uh, 409 was the peak, and it's down to 313, but last solds, 320 about there is some a little bit higher 337 so we'll see uh, what happens with the Gengar but it looks like it's uh, bouncing back better but the price of the Giratina is still higher correct let's take a look sorry I'll just bounce back to the Giratina for a second so yeah 330 versus 313 for the Gengar so they're they're right there um, but yeah so the although the Giratina is still kind of dropping the Gengar is um, leveling out it's just a little bit lower then we have, so last solds on the Gengar are, once again, a little less than the Giratina. 627, 610, 600, 625, so um, less than the Giratina. Gengar being a very popular Pokemon, though, so. Um, yeah, that's, those are pretty consistent around that six, in that 600 range, fluctuating just a little, so very consistent with the Gengar. Then we have Brilliant Stars. We, we've talked about Brilliant Stars on the channel before. Um, it's up 3% on the past three months, sorry, not 3%, 1% in three months, sorry, get my numbers confused, and down 1% in the past month, it's kind of flat-ish, but what we've seen for growth has been somewhat steady, being at 140 a year ago, it had its high of 194, and now it's holding strong in that 180 range, listed medium price is 220, so this could become a 200 crack that $200 box range. Uh, we don't know when, it's just going to take some time, but 185, 188, 180 sales, so fairly accurate. Now, this one might take a little bit longer to move, unfortunately. The chase card is the Charizard. If you're new to the channel, I love this card, okay? I do this every time. I can talk about it. I'm going to talk about it. Um, 131 near mint raw right now. It's dropping 16% over the past three months, but it does look like it's leveling out. It's up 1% on the past month, so up a tiny bit. On the one-year chart, we'll see the big run-up here. We almost it hit 200, and now it's down around the 130s. So it looks like it's recovered and holding. We'll see. Um, 
we do have recent sales that are higher at 150, 160, but then there's some 120, 120, 20, 130. So we'll see where the Charizard ends up. Uh, pop count is high on this one for PSA 10s, uh, just like the Umbreon. It is not obviously as hard to pull, but in my mind, these prices are these prices are way too cheap. I have multiple so I have multiple copies of this card in a PSA 10, uh, just for transparency. Uh, you guys can check my eBay. I do not have it listed. I'm not looking to sell either of them. Um, I honestly, I think I might pick up more. I might pick up some more PSA 10s of this card, just because in my mind, uh, once this kind of recovers, I I think even, even though the population is high, which is what we're seeing a lot with Sword and Shield and Scarlet and Violet, high pop counts, I think that this card should be more, worth more in a PSA 10. Uh, 240, 240 free shipping is way too cheap. So um, I'm probably going to be looking to pick up some more copies of this. These PSA 10s are, are way too cheap. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that's on my list of things to get because I do think that the... Uh, it should be four to five hundred in a PSA ten. Is just my that's just my opinion. It's the best artwork we've ever gotten on a Charizard. Agree or disagree? Let me know in the comments. That's just that is my opinion. Then we have Silver Tempest. Um, poor Silver Tempest. I love Silver Silver Tempest because of the Lugia. One sixty one. Uh, not poor. It's not doing that bad. Still above MSRP. MSRP is what one forty three. Um, but down two percent on the past three months, and it's about even in the past month up just a little bit pull out the one-year chart uh it was at 167 and it came down it's coming back up a little bit listed median price is at 190 so this is another set kind of like brilliant stars where it might take a while to move I'll see some of the sales 150 140 170 kind of a little bit um yeah i mean it's it's one of the weaker sets but with a great chase card the Lugia uh, V is amazing. Uh, we're seeing 168 uh, current markets down on the downswing a little, down 11% on the past three months. And it's kind of even on the past month, just down a tiny bit. So maybe leveling off. Uh, it doesn't have that big of... I mean, 28% is a good gain, but compared to some of the cards on its run-up, it, 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 where it like came back down to, 28%, So, which is a good gain. It went as high as 227 now it's in the 160s, um, which the recent sales really confirm that. 169, 169, 169, 169, 165. So the Lugia, um, stunning, stunning card, great, uh, popular Pokemon. Check out PSA 10 stuff. Um, 370, 360, 390, so about in that range um, for PSA 10 sales of the Lugia. Super cool card. Um, then we have Astral Radiance. This is currently at uh, 163 a box. And it's a little bit on downturn, down 5% in the past three months, and still declining in the one-month chart, down 2%. Uh, showing some pretty decent growth on the one-year, 27%. This was as low as 120 a box, and it went about as high as 180. And now it's in the 160s, so... Um, another set that's just... Not quite as good, but has some good cards in it for sure. Although recent sales shows 181. That was as of this morning, uh, 1010. So we'll see where Astral ends up. Um, the chase card from Astral is the Machamp, which I think is a super cool card. Uh, I really like the uh, the artwork. They always have like Machamp and Machoke and um, Machop like moving stuff. Huh, I don't know. I guess because they're big and strong. Um, but yeah, I like the artwork on this card. I do think it's cool. Um, but it's another one that's still kind of like... Doesn't look like it's kind of... It might be leveling out, maybe. Down 21, 21% in the past three months. And yeah, so still on the decline a little. 5% in the past month. Uh, yeah, the alt art boom right here ran up 190. And looks like there were some sales in the 200s for sure. But average price was 190. Uh, this was a, an $80 card for a very long time, 70 even. And so uh, going from 80 to 120, if that's where it holds up, is some great growth. Uh, so the Machamp, I hate these. I hate these. I hate these. Supposedly they're, I think, next week or something. Uh, TCG is removing those, and it's going to have its own thing. We'll see. Um, but so last real solds, 
114, 114, 115, 130, 120. For the, for the Machamp, take a look at, so PSA 10 sales, um, not very expensive either. We're seeing 229 crossed out, so I don't know how low that went. Uh, 220, 220, so it looks like between 220 and 250 uh, for the Machamp in a PSA 10. Seems like a pretty good price um, for a nice alt art there. Then we have Chilling Rain, 214 a box currently. Uh, looks like it's kind of leveled off a little bit on the three month chart, only down 8%. And looks like maybe bouncing back a little, uh, up almost 3% in the past month and 41% growth uh, over the one year, so that's very good. Could have had this box on TCG for as low as 146, it went as high as the 230s. Listed median price is 270, so this box could be creeping up as well, but we're seeing $200 sales, so we'll see that it kind of looks like this might be coming down again a little bit, just based off the recent sales, uh, we'll see. Sometimes those are sellers that are just offloading, trying to be the lowest to move some product, it just depends if that's done, then maybe it can continue to grow, but we'll see. Um, the Blaziken, uh, which is a cool card, extremely hard to pull. Uh, we know how hard a lot of these alt arts to are to pull from Sword and Shield. It's kind of on the decline still again, down 17% in the past three months, and continuing to decline in the past month, another 5% down. We'll take a look at the one year so you guys can see. Could have had this for a 163, 160s for a long time. When it had its big run up, it looks like it hit four hundred dollars, over four hundred, and now it's in the two seventy seven. So, from one sixty to two seventy seven, still some pretty big growth. We'll see where this levels out. Uh, we're seeing three hundred, two eighty, uh, and two eighties and two seventies last solds on the Blaziken. Then we have uh, so PSA ten sales. Um, these were probably like, I don't know, these crossed outs or ones are probably four hundred, but four twenty, four hundred, so. Around 400 to 420 for the Blaziken in a 10. Um, extremely hard. If you guys saw Cool Trainer Ryan, he spent a lot of money trying to pull that card. Then we have Battle Styles. So, Battle Styles is the first set that introduced alternate arts. And it's not as good of a set, but I, I think it's good. I think it's decent. It's not as... Let me rephrase that. It's not, it's not amazing, but it's good. That's what I would say. Um... It's at 130 a box, still below uh, MSRP, which is 143. And it's showing a little bit of growth in the three month chart, just up a little bit. And it, in the last month, up 2.5% in the last month alone. So that's some pretty good uh, growth there. Uh, we'll see kind of where that ends up. But you could have had this for as low on TCG for mm, 100, just like 100 a box. Had its peak up to like 137, then it came back down to 125, and now it's on a bit of a run-up again, so that's interesting to see. Um, actually, last sold was last sold was 139, so 139, 136. Um, we'll see. You guys can see there's not not a ton of sales on here, like in the last month, just not that many. Um, it's not as popular of a set, which makes sense. But battle styles, um, I I'm not too very heavily invested in battle styles, um, and I do not have the chase card. The Tyranitar, but I do love this card, by the way. I like the sleepy Pokemon. I think it's absolutely adorable, and I love all the food. Um, I like this card a lot. Uh, it's In the last three months, it's down 12%, but in the past month, it's kind of like leveling off, so it seems like it likes the market likes that $140 range um, for the Tyranitar. Take a look at the one year here. Um, before its run-up, it was $88, and it was higher before that. It steadily declined. It went from 108 down to 88 and then shot up big to 186 and now it's in the 140 so some very good growth um for the tyranitar there on the one-year chart i do like this card uh like i said a lot uh psa 10 sales um last sold 249 270 to between 220 and 270 range so uh another affordable alt art in a psa 10 uh, compared to some of the big dogs um yeah so Sometimes when you got to look at, it, it is a it is a price increase. Obviously, if you're gonna pick up like a raw copy for 142, or you could get a PSA 10 copy for 240. So another hundred bucks can get you that PSA 10. Um, might be worth the swing um, if you're looking to add that to your collection. 
Uh, then we have a few boxes here. These are not um, alternate art sets, uh, but I just wanted to touch on these uh, for a few reasons. One, Sword and Shield base. Um, I, this, when I do videos on Sword and Shield, I don't often include this set. I don't know why. Um, it, well, it's it's not very popular. There's not that many sales. You guys can see these are the sales right here, one, 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 and three items sold on this day. But it's showing some decent growth, 7% um, up, and it's very expensive, right? 7% um, up in the past three months and 6% in the past month alone. So we're seeing some growth there. Uh, we'll pull up the one-year chart, see what this looks like. So it's only up 11% because it was at 288. It went down as low as 267, and now we're in the three, 330 range. Last sold was 330, 330, 340. So you can see how spread out these are, 10, 7, 10, 2, and then September. So um, Sword and Shield, still base, still an expensive box, and showing a little bit of growth recently. When was that dip? Like March? Okay. So it's been on a steady climb since March. The uh, most valuable card is the Snorlax. Um, I did not pull up PSA 10 pricings for this card in the last one. They're just they're not as expensive. Um, the the Snorlax V Max, the Rainbow. Um, it's on the decline, still down almost 20% in the past three months, and still kind of down a little bit, uh, almost 3% in the past month. But pretty solid gains on the one year overall. 35%. It looks like it's low is around. Um, why is this not pulling up the date? Oh, there we go. Uh, March, it was as low as 27. Went as high as 50, and now it's in the 40s. So some pretty good uh, range there. Um, as a Snorlax fan, I wish we got some Snorlax alt arts. Um, I mean, we got like the 151 Snorlax. I do like a lot, but we should got like a rare, harder to pull Snorlax. I know there's like the gold one and stuff, but I want like a right proper alt art. Eh, this card. It's okay. As a Snorlax fan, it's not my favorite. Um, but yeah, it's that. That's that's what that's doing. I just wanted. I mainly wanted to touch on this set just because of the box prices. But I was doing chase cards, so I touched on it for a second. Um, last set we're gonna talk about is Vivid Voltage. Um, the reason I'm gonna bring this up, we just wanted to talk about box prices. It's at like 140 a box, listed median is 160, so maybe a little bit of room there. Um, the reason I'm wanting to bring this up, let's look at the past month, it's up 2% over the last year. It's only up 4%. So you could have had this as low as 125, and it's, at its, it's pretty much at its one year high. The reason I'm bringing this up is because of surging sparks. There's been some comparison to Vivid Voltage, which if you look at the cards, uh, surging is just way better all around. Not really comparable, um, besides that they have a Pikachu. Um, we'll look at the chase card in a second. Uh, looks like this might crack 150 soon, possibly. We'll, we'll see, we'll have to keep an eye on that. Um, but the reason I wanted to bring this up is be, like to have the conversation of, can surging sparks bring vivid voltage up bring popularity um we'll see i don't know about the the boxes but the the chonkachu the rainbow chonkachu something i wanted to talk about it's still in the decline uh down 11 percent in the past three months and almost four percent in the past month alone the one-year chart it's actually down 8.5 percent it was 117 back here or sorry 119 it went as low as 96 and then it went up to around 128 now it's on the decline again so um can uh, surging the popularity of surging and the pikachu i've heard some in the comments saying that they like the um this the rainbow chonkachu better than the surging um sir so doing that comparison um we've talked about it before like with the team rocket set coming out Will some of the, like the Giovanni cards go up? Um, that does happen. It is a thing that happens. So um, I don't know how how much it's going to grow, but it's just something to think about. We could see boxes going up. We could see Rainbow Chonkachu prices increasing in the future. But um, yeah, just just something to think about. I don't I don't think it's going to be huge growth, um, but we could see we could see a little jump. Um, we could see a jump from Vivid. Um, that is going to do it for this one, guys. This was a little bit of a longer video. I just wanted to do a little Sword and Shield market update. Uh, just kind of seeing where Sword and Shield's at. I know I didn't touch on every single product from Sword and Shield. I just touched on the ones that I thought were either the best or the most relevant. Um, 
but if you're this far in the video and you're not already subscribed obviously you enjoyed the content i do daily pokemon collecting and investing content every single day um so do yourself a favor and subscribe and yeah that's gonna do it for this one guys i will catch you in the next one and remember it was never a phase <laughs>